Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. I'm performing today automatic transmission service on this 2007 Dodge Sprinter 2500 CRD. I guess most of you know that this van is basically rebadged Mercedes-Benz product. So it means it's equipped with the automatic transmission from Mercedes-Benz model 722.65. And that is famous and I will say extremely durable automatic transmission which Mercedes-Benz put in many, many vehicles and many years in the service. It's a five-speed automatic, which is fully electronically controlled. And that means there are electronic parts inside of that transmission and there is a wire coming to the transmission towards this electrical connector. And I would love to convince you today if you do any service on this transmission, I would like to convince you to always replace the, this infamous electrical connector. I saved the last one as a sample maybe for filming, but most importantly right now we have the Mercedes-Benz number right here for you. If you get it from Mercedes-Benz, it will cost you only like $15 and it's extremely important that it's being replaced and this is the reason. There are two rubber o-rings here, one and two. And when they start not working correctly, the transmission fluid which is coming from here, around here in the back, Hopefully the camera will show it. Yeah, there's a little bolt which is sticking right now. You can see it, it's a seven millimeter. I will show it later. So the fluid will start seeping past these O-rings and it will unfortunately enter the wiring harness. And believe it or not, if the fluid gets out here in that wiring harness, it will start traveling through those wires slowly between the wire itself and insulation there is enough space it will start traveling towards to the transmission computer it can go all the way in it and it can completely destroy the computer there are many cases when people will remove the computers from completely different location in the vehicle and it will be soaked and full of transmission fluid so this is the reason why we keep changing these they are cheap enough there's no reason to be saving on this 15 bucks try to save a buck no reason all of us please replace that and you might think well the fluid doesn't travel up but in this case it will here on this sprinter the TCM transmission control module, the computer, it's right here underneath the seat. And if we will not service it correctly, if everybody will be skipping this, it will actually happen. It will travel all the way and the computer will be full of fluid. Now on this generation of the Sprinter, there is relatively hard access to this connector. That's for the hand and also for filming. So I will show you right now in beginning how you deal with removal and replacement of this. So when this connector is all the way in the transmission and I will show you later, this is what you see. And what do you do? You grab this lever and start bringing it down. And because you are turning that, it will start moving that electrical connector away from the transmission and when you finish you are able to grab the connector and let it hang on the side of transmission. So the next step is to loosen this connector and we said you need a seven millimeter socket 
because that little silver bolt which is all the way inside you can see it sticking on the other side and it's there inside you can see it so you need a seven millimeter it will be not tight much that, that needs to be torqued just tiny bit and you will counterclockwise unscrew this bolt after that you will grab the whole assembly and start very slowly pulling it carefully out of the transmission and here you are it should come with these two o-rings so that was theory right here let's go together underneath the van and I will show you the real thing on the previous generation of sprinters there is a way better access to the transmission pan and to the electrical connector it's right there you already see that shiny ring that beige or yellowish white color so you see it there now if you want to replace it always make sure you have the fluid out otherwise you will be possibly getting some fluid out of there so it's a part of the service you can see right here my fluid is already dripping for like 20 minutes I just bought this van and I suspected it wasn't service and look how disgusting that fluid is so I'm doing the full service I have on the table new gasket new filter I will be draining the torque converter again as you can see all these members here it's making it difficult on this 2007 sprinter but I will do all of that replace all these things replace the electrical connector right there and fill it up with a brand new beautiful mercedes-benz fluid but this video is today focused only on that electrical connector so do you see it there and do you see a little bit that paddle that lever do you see it in the completely upper position so that's correct i will be starting with grabbing that i don't think he will be able to see it because my hand will be in the way due to the lack of the space here but you grab that lever and you start turning it towards to yourself towards to the camera basically it goes on the way down and that will start pushing away towards to the front of the vehicle that electric connector it will move it basically out i'm trying my best to show it to you but as i said there's not much space so i will grab that lever with my finger and start you see it already moved towards to us and i will start turning it towards to the bottom and i wish you can see that that wire that connector is already moving this finger it's moving forward did you see that and that completely popped you just saw it hopefully and i can move it completely out and look at that it's slightly wet around but i think we caught it in the good time i don't think definitely it wasn't full of uh, full of fluid yet so this is good i'm very happy and we can continue the connector it's right here hopefully you can see it these are the internal parts i know it's the light a little bit difficult right here so i can hang it here if it if there was fluid it will actually start slowly dripping out and we can continue with that connector and it's basically simple now i need that seven millimeter bring it here put my hands somehow there and unscrew that little bolt which is deep inside hopefully you can see that seven millimeter socket i was showing you before with its extension and the ratchet it's already prepared and now counterclockwise which means the ratchet needs to go towards to down right i will crack it loose and carefully loosen all the way that bolt that bolt will not come out with the 
extension and the socket it will stay there but you just need to get it loose after loosening it you can even put your finger inside and feel it's rattling there it's loose it's not screwed anymore and now it's basically the moment when you start wiggling that entire connector out many times they are stuck there it's not easy to get them if you will be pulling only on this ring you will that ring will slip off the remaining black part so here you have to be careful start wiggling it ideally use your both hands I cannot because I'm holding the camcorder but it is what it is and I have this entire procedure including carefully getting it out I have it filmed on this channel there are at least two videos when I did full service which includes prying it carefully out and then installing it back so please if you want to see that detail refer to these other two videos so look this one just came out but observe there is only only large o-ring and the small one must be left in the hole so you have to pay all this attention to this procedure because you cannot see there so sure enough the remaining o-ring was left there inside another note there are all these pins electrical pins from the conductor plate which is inside of the transmission when you are reaching inside for this remaining o-ring be very very careful you don't bend you don't put your finger too strong there and you don't bend one of these connectors because these will need to perfectly match these openings when you installing new one and yes you are right I, I didn't say that when I was reaching there this ring immediately separated from the body so as I said when it wasn't removed for a while and there's a bunch of dirt around it this doesn't go easy out you have to be very careful gentle with it if you ever doubt that it's better if you leave it to professionals and they can do it for you and installation of the connector is exactly the opposite what we just did if you wanna see it I really film it on the cars where it was easy to do that and you can see every single detail in the other two videos here there's no even angle where to position that camera for you so I hope you find this video helpful and please make sure you are subscribed I have way more about these things coming your way soon thank you for watching and have a great day